So you've been frustrated with underperforming Wi-Fi, or you've decided you need a good redundancy plan, and you've purchased a 4G modem and a 4G antenna. You did your research, found a highly recommended antenna, and you got it set up, but the performance benefits just aren't quite materializing. In this video, we'll be taking you through some quick tweaks you can make right now that can improve the performance of your 4G antenna and help bring you the speeds you deserve. Let's get started. Perhaps the single most effective step you can take in improving your signal quality is to learn where the cell masts are in your area. Once you know where your provider's masts are, you can begin positioning your antenna for the best signal possible. Cell Mapper is an online tool that logs just about every cell mast in the world. Use it to filter by provider, network, and frequency band, and Cell Mapper will display all matching cell masts in a map view, so you can zero in on your area and really determine the exact direction your antenna should be pointing in for the best service possible. If you find that one particular provider has many more cell masts in your area than others, you may want to consider moving over to them if you haven't already. Being closer to multiple cell masts will give you more options when it comes to positioning your antenna, and it should be easier for you to achieve a strong signal. Maybe you predicted this one, but one of the most important factors affecting antenna performance is its mounting position. Here are some guidelines to follow when mounting your antenna. Signal degrades is a natural side effect of traveling through any material, so the most efficient means of getting the signal to your devices will always be best. If your antenna comes with a cable pre-attached, simply try to route the cable so that you don't have to use any 5 or 10 meter extensions. If you can mount your antenna outside, do so. Although it can be a pain to neatly route the cables from the outside to the inside of your home to connect to your 4G modem, the performance benefits will be significant in most cases. If you can't mount your antenna outside, mount it on a window. Many antennas are shipped with suction cups for mounting on the inside or the outside of a window, and since glass will impede signal less than a solid wall, you might be surprised by the results. In general, the higher you mount an antenna, the better the performance will be. This is a direct result of giving the antenna better clearance from surrounding obstacles and a better line of sight to your base station. If you're close to the nearest base station with a high-rise building or other unavoidable obstruction, the height at which you mount your antenna won't really make a difference, but in general, this is a good rule of thumb to follow. Some antennas, like the pointing x one can be pole-mounted and are shipped with the mounting brackets to do so, so are quite easy to mount high up, out of the way of obstacles. Now that you know where the closest cell mast is for your provider, try positioning the antenna with as clear a line of sight as possible. That means minimal obstructions between the antenna and the cell mast. If you followed all of the preceding steps in this section, you're probably already covered. But if this is something you haven't tried yet, it should help. Sometimes getting the best performance out of your antenna can be more art than science. This means that sometimes the wrong locations, such as the opposite side of the building to the base station, will actually give better results than the location that makes the most intuitive sense. If you don't mind experimenting a bit, then try some of these wrong locations and run speed tests to see if you do see some performance gains. If you have any additional antennas, you may be able to create an array out of them to achieve 2x2 or 4x4 MIMO. Some antennas, like the pointing x 2 and x 1, are already cross-polarized 2x2 MIMO antennas, holding two antennas within a single housing. A 4x4 MIMO array can be created using two 2x2 MIMO antennas. As a general rule of thumb, they should be about 0.6 meters apart and oriented with 45 degrees of tilt relative to the vertical axis for decorrelation. If you live in a rural area or flatland, the biggest reflector will be the earth, meaning you should position the two 2x2 antennas vertically, though still oriented with 45 degrees of tilt, the first in one direction and the second in the other. If you live in a city with high obstacles all around, the reflections are more likely to manifest on the horizontal plane, so position the two antennas next to each other, again with that same 45 degrees of tilt. When you've got the right antenna, the right provider, and everything is oriented perfectly, the last thing to check is the cable. Pointing antennas ship with high quality cables attached to the unit, but if your antenna came 
with a lower grade cable and you can upgrade it for a better one, this will be worth looking into. Even if the antenna is receiving a pretty good signal, that signal could be getting degraded on its way through a cheap cable. As we've said already, setting up your 4G antenna can sometimes be more art than science. Following these guidelines should give you a head start in finding the right configuration for you, and if you've been underwhelmed by the performance you've received so far, you should be able to improve it by following these tips. Be sure to tell us down in the comments section which of these tweaks worked best for you, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.